same price at Target. It's crazy. I wonder is this not 98 too? Probiotics and prebiotics with cranberry. And here this one is $8.37. But you can get probiotics with yogurt and obviously cranberry naturally. But um, this is pretty cool that they have this in here together. Let's see the amount. Oh it has vitamin C in here too. Mm -hmm. Let me know if I use this. This is by BH Essentials. I haven't heard of them before. So uh, I usually would get this, which is a sensitive foamy wash. This is really my babe. I'll use this all the time. But they actually have a pack that has toiletries in here. And I think I showed y'all this so many times. Like, so many times. To the point where y'all probably saw me talking about it. But I did not know that Vagisil had um, wipes too. Look at their wipes. This is the other black white. And that one is $3.28. And then they have the pH balance wipes. And it has lacto prebiotic in here, which is super, super cool. I've never, like, I don't, they don't have this type of stuff at Target. But this is $2.97. Oh, I finally found the unscented one, girl. I finally found the unscented one. Because remember, you were telling me, what is this? coconut hibiscus not honestly i would never even use anything that has like scents in it like the lavender like all that stuff i would never ever never ever use anything like that but something like this is pretty cool like i use unscented feminine hygiene anything but yeah this is actually new so shout out to my girl i'm actually gonna try this out see how i like it oh they got a healthy detox one but i still wouldn't use this <laughs> i still wouldn't use this Cause they got tea tree, eucalyptus, neem, and rosemary. Who knows what else is added in here? But it's saying that I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Have anybody used this before? Like comment down below, let me know. But this powder is really, really good. This is a really good powder for my big chested girls, for sure. Because it stops odor first of all, but then it's a powder too. So I don't know. I feel like. I need to get some more. Are you trying to come over here? No, I wanted to ask the question. Sure, no problem. I seen like the cold stores. Oh, you I probably want to go further back this way no. by by the you know when you first come in because that's where all the medication and stuff is at and right this, over there. Oh, at that first section yep. right over there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. I'm definitely getting that because I'm not. It's, it just bothered me on the summer days, honestly. And it's 100% talcum free. It's 24 hour odor protection. I don't know who's not getting in the shower around 24 hours. Like, that's just crazy. But, anyways, yes. Um, Summer's Eve got a different look. That's cute. That's cute. What is this? Always cleanse, refreshing wash. Oh, this is always cleanser. I didn't know they had a cleanser. Hmm. It's so funny because I just be shopping at Target and TJ Maxx and I don't be seeing all this new stuff. But look at all these scented stuff they got over here. Crazy. Um, let me see. Look y'all, so remember I was telling y'all at this, the L brand is cheaper over here. At Walmart than it is at Target. It's so crazy because the thin liners, the ultra thin liners, the regular ones are $8.97 and then the 42 pads are like $8.97. It's like $11. I mean it's like $9 at um Target. Now don't get me wrong, when it comes to like the bigger count, it's like 
$11.56 here and it's $11.47 so I feel like those are the same prices when it comes to like the bigger count but on the lower count end like they're they're cheaper than um, they're cheaper than a uh, Target but y'all remember I was telling y'all about these like always these are so freaking good I always deal with like the L brand but when I tried out this one Oh my god so i wouldn't use this one because it's a size one and i feel like it's too small <laughs> so yeah and i don't be having a regular flow like it's all it's almost always heavy so i might start with um a two or a three and then on my days where i'm just trying to go to sleep i'll use a four or i'll use five depending on which one i feel is a better size for me but honestly, um, yeah, during last month when I did use it, I really, really loved it. So I highly recommend. And y'all do see the prices. So it is, um, you know, it get a little bit more expensive when it get up in the numbers. Like 34 pads, that one is $10.47. But I'm telling y'all, you do not have to change this as much as you would normally have to change like a pad, like the ones I just showed y'all. I don't even know. Like, I think the last time I showed y'all this always... I showed y'all the, the flexi foam and not the pure cotton. I don't know. I don't know why I would have did that. But I didn't mean to if I did do that. Because this is what I meant. <laughs> these. These only. Pure cotton with flex foam. Not infinity flex foam. Like that's not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the pure cotton one. Because it's free of dyes, fragrances, or chlorine bleaching and stuff like that. Um, I can't wait to get done with all the ill brand pads because I'm really excuse me sorry I'm really ready to kick them to the curb but yeah now we're over here in the oral care section and I wanted to show y'all a couple of things so remember I was telling y'all about when you pack your feminine hygiene bag and on a go type stuff I really 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 will recommend that you use something like this the Invigorating Icy Mint is probably my favorite, I guess you can say flavor. <laughs> um, it's my favorite flavor. They only have these at um, Walmart because I haven't seen these at Target. I haven't seen these anywhere else. Like, they only have these small little things at Target. Another thing, too, if you deal with dry mouth and y'all know what I'm talking about, <laughs> like during those type of situations, and you need like extra saliva and stuff this actually um it produces more for you and this, this one looks like what seven dollars and 98 cents so i just want you to see and it is like it's like five calories per serving obviously and it's a mandarin and a mint flavor so i'm just trying to show y'all and honestly I'm actually going to get these. I really hope. I haven't tried these. So, yeah. But I'm going to get it and try it out. And let y'all know how it turns out when I get home. Or when I get in the car. Shit, I can do it when I get in the car. But it's $7.98. So, yeah. Um, What else are we doing? Oh, they actually have this um, whitening mouthwash here. That helps with sensitivity. That's so interesting. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Because I've seen this at TJ Maxx so many times. And I'm like, mm. but have y'all tried this? Like, let me know. Because I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't seen too many people talk about it yet. So I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm really in the mood to, like, try to try stuff out. <laughs> so... I don't know but this scope right here this is a really good mouthwash if you are into the their breath and stuff like that this is a really really good mouthwash it has my breath like fresh all freaking day and you know what's crazy I didn't even know that they had these like what is this what so these are like little mouthwash things you pop in your mouth and that like come out like that what that's crazy. I got a whole bunch of dry mouth stuff. This one has honey. is a honey and lemon flavor. 
Ooh, hold on, because they got something that's lasted a little while longer. Let me see how long this is lasting. Oh, and I do need to buy some more. Um, there was this mouthwash that my daughter was using, and it had, like, um, Peroxyl. There it go. I found it. A dang. It's, like, $10.96. It don't say how long this, um... They don't say how long this lasts with the mouth, with the mouth thing. But it says it freshens your breath too, so. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so let me tell y'all something. So my daughter, if y'all know, she um gets braces and she had just got her braces put on for a stage two. So she got the top and the bottom and she was dealing with like her mouth being super like, I guess, irritated. And she started getting like little sores from the brackets or whatnot because her she was just like starting to get used to it. So um this is what she was using they gave her a little packet of it but i'm actually gonna buy it myself um what's actually in here is hydrogen peroxide um a minty flavor and that's really it and to be real you can actually just get hydrogen peroxide and just have her swish her mouth around because what else is in here I need to buy some more hydrogen peroxide anyways. Let me try to open this. I'm finna sit y'all down so I can see. Okay, that's what it says in here. We use um, canker sores, minor wounds, or minor gum inflammation, stuff like that. And I honestly, like I said, okay, what's in the ingredients? Let's see. Water, sorbito. I really want to see, uh, uh and it got blue one in here. I just really want to see if there's any other properties in here that is helping. But these are inactive ingredients. So the only active ingredient is the hydrogen peroxide. So push come to shove, I'm probably just going to get. But this was okay for her. It just has the mint in there that probably tastes a little bit better than just swishing around hydrogen peroxide. But this one is $6.98. Um, I'm going to be that girl and try and figure out if the hydrogen peroxide is cheaper than the peroxyl. And, yeah, we're about to go see. I don't need no more, um, I don't need no more picks for my teeth. Yeah, I don't need no more of that. And she don't need no wax. Like, that girl did a really good job. Or that woman. Let me just fix that. She did an awesome, awesome, awesome job when she did her um, braces. Oh, they have, look, they have um, a different scent. And they have the whole body deodorant. What? They have a coconut and vanilla scent whole body deodorant. Wait. And this is good for sensitive skin. It's aluminum free. That is so dope. Like, what? That just stressed me out because I've been ranting about, like, this one, this scent, and this scent, but the fact that they got peaches and shea butter is crazy. And then they have this one, coconut and vanilla. And then they have this stick. I want to see what it's giving. So I want to I wanna see. I'm gonna smell this one and this one. I can see, I can see. But it's $11.98, so it's still the same price as it is at um, Target, so. I'm about to try and stitch y'all up. I'm gonna attempt to do something. So this one is the coconut and vanilla one. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, that kinda smells like the cocoa and shea, and I'm not, like super impressed because I already have the cocoa and shea, but and then this one is the peaches in shea butter. So let me see if I like it. Oh, that do smell good. It does smell good. It smells like um, it smells straight up like peaches. And I feel like this could be a great scent. 
feel like this would be a great scent for me. Oh, I really like it. Yeah. If y'all know, y'all know, but like literally, like when I pair my deodorant or pair my scents, I want to make sure my deodorant is given that scent and this is given like a more of um, a tropical scent and I'd be trying to go for that coconut and shea and raspberry and rose does not give tropical this does so just letting y'all know oh yeah and we're done over here because I was trying to find the hydrogen peroxide to see if it was the same price or different than the mouthwash so, excuse me, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I'm just go this way. Thank you. What? Must it really? Okay, boom. Yeah, it's back here. Okay. That's the topical solution. Where is the oral? What? Oral debriefing agent. Okay, yeah. Y'all, what the freak? This is a dollar. This is literally a dollar. This is literally a dollar. Like, are you crazy? I don't know why I never knew that that was that, like, price, but I just never knew. But I think it's because I always end up buying, like, the first aid kits, like, all together, and all that stuff come together. So it's like, I literally never just pay attention to the one product because in my mind I'm like oh, I'm just getting oh Billy got deodorant too look I'm gonna see if it really wasn't in that deodorant aisle so I'm, I, I gotta sit right here and see what is see what it's about but they have the lavender milk which have a pink pepper scent this one is a spicy wood scent, which I really don't like, but I like coconut and vanilla, but not really sandalwood and ocean and salt and white florals. I don't know, but is it aluminum free? It is, and it says it right here. All right, let's see what it's giving. Y'all, it's getting kind of dark over here. It's getting kind of dark. Okay, y'all can see me a little bit. Okay, we're gonna see what this is. If I like it, cause I just got some. Mm. I don't like it. It definitely is giving like pepper, pepper, like but like literally just pepper and lavender. Just that just don't go together. That don't go together. This is the cedar fresh one. This kind of smells good. Oh no, I, it's giving masculine. I don't like it, and I knew I wouldn't like it because it's a spicy wood scent, and I don't like spicy woods. I don't like spicy wood scent, or I don't like musky scents. But this is a cocoa villa, is what they call it, and this has coconut, vanilla, and sandalwood in it, like I was just telling y'all. Um, yeah, no, this is giving me coconut and shea by Dove and. But this is cheaper because it's eight dollars and ninety-seven cents. But it doesn't have those vitamins in there that I like about the other deodorant. But it is cheaper than the other one. And this one is the title rose. I don't really like rose scents, but it says white florals and ocean salt, so I might might be okay. Uh, if I like it. Hey, what? I don't know it's just too strong and I think that maybe they're using these scents from the shaving like creams and stuff and I think that's that's I don't want that I don't want it I don't like it okay and it's really not it's really not their fault because it makes sense I really want to get my son those vapor like steamers that you put in the shower to kind of help him because today is the day that we're getting rid of all that stuff literally all that stuff oh they got billy um 
Oh, but this not the one I be getting. But this got coconut oil and aloe vera, which is really cool for people that have dry skin. This is really good for me. But my daughter, like, she's prone to, like, ingrowns. I don't know what in the world happened. And I'm like, girl. But, yeah. Oh, this Nair is, I mean, not, not Nair. What the freak? This V is so good. It doesn't stink. It doesn't have that, like, loud, stinky smell like Nair does. And it's good for sensitive skin. Oh, they have it here for $9.47. I think it was, like, damn. I think it was, like, $11. It's, I don't know. I, I just know it was a lot more expensive at Target. Anyways, I keep saying this and it's so funny because y'all probably gonna be like, girl, what did you think? Why Why would you not think that it'll be more expensive at Target? Eight hours of soothing menthol vapors per pad. Where do you put this at? I'm just trying to see if they have the steamers. And they don't have it. Like this one. What? They don't have the steamers here. That's crazy. But I feel like my boy needs some help. Like my boy needs some help. But they don't have those over here. Okay, so remember the last time I had went to um, TJ Maxx. And I found those um it was like menthol hot vapor like shower steamers and i didn't get it i regret it right now i regret it right now excuse me sorry i regret it right now because i wish i would have gotten it maybe he would have had some relief by now But well, I've been trying to go the natural way with the shower steamers. And the girl, it has not been given. Did they change? What is really going on? Okay, well, anyways, we found some new stuff when it comes to body wash. But it's just tripping me out. And then I didn't even know Billy had body washes. My head spinning. Then my head hit the wall. Yeah, anyways, these are the different washes that I was just trying to, or just telling y'all about. So this is the Hydration Boost, the Ultra Sensitive one, and the Glow Recharge Body Love Collection over here. I'm starting to think, like, are they going to discontinue that collection? That's on the other side. It's on the other side? Oh, with the body wash? Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep, so I was just wondering, like, what in the world... And I feel like, I feel like Target is probably holding on to products that they do have right now. But will they discontinue it when they, like, what's really, what's going on? Because that um, body wash, the Hydro Boost, is so freaking good because it has hyaluronic serum in there. Oh, maybe this is still the same thing, but they just got a different, because wait a minute. Maybe it's just different packaging, girl. Maybe I'm tripping it. Because this says it has a hydrating serum with hyaluronic in there. And it's past 6% hyaluronic acid in there. And it does have squalene in here. No, this is different. Because the other one, it had hyaluronic serum and moringa oil. This one has hyaluronic acid and squalene. Can you imagine? Like, oh my god. I want to try this. Because the other one is super hydrating just with the hyaluronic acid and moringa oil. Squalene is super hydrating. And I use that for my face. So CeraVe actually has a facial cleanser. It's a foaming facial cleanser that has hyaluronic acid and squalene in there. And it has my skin so, like, hydrated, so glowy. Stuff like that. And it smells just like, it smells just like the other one. I'm actually going to buy it. I'm going to buy this one because it does smell good still. And I got a bag with putting like all the stuff in the front of the cart. Like what am I doing? One thing that I feel like I'm not going to re-up on right now is this coke. Because it just made me, like it just reminded me of the fact that my son just squared out all this <laughs> body wash. Like I, I love it, but it's just, it's, it's make it's. I'm mad right now. I'm mad at that that whole set right now. Oh, this one has vitamin C in here. Ooh. 
Let me see what it smells like. I'm thinking it just smell like citrus. I don't know why. And it does a little bit. Like, look at the, look at the texture inside. And it actually, it does smell good, but it's giving like this perfumey vibe and scent that I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. But this is a sensitive one that they do have. And it's explaining every single thing that's on the back of it for my sensitive skin girls. Y'all, this. Let me see what it smells like, first of all. And then I'm going to tell you if I like it. It smells pretty plain. And this is something that Dove normally does not even do when it comes to, like, sensitive skin. But this is ultra, ultra sensitive. So I think they didn't even try to put, like, a little scent in it. Like, this is for, like, the real, real, real sensitive girls. Because at this point, it's giving gel inside of here. And it's not giving a scent. It's, like, literally nothing. So, um, I mean, I love that for people that are really dealing with, like, very sensitive skin. And they can't have anything. Because it's... You already know Dove is a plant-based cleanser company, but it's free of parabens, sulfates, all that good stuff. So this is good for those girls. But they're $9.97. So it is a little bit more on the expensive side. The Dove Body Love Collection was like $8 and some change. So I'm not, I don't know what's going on. But it's something. And they don't have that one. Um, this Snow Blossom, I don't really like anything that's Blossom or Name Blossom. A lot of times when it comes to, like, body washes, just because it's for, like, roses. Like, I don't like that, that floral scent in body washes. I do like it in perfume, but, hmm. It's so funny because, like, this actually smells good while well, I was just talking about all that stuff. Hmm. This actually does smell good. It actually does smell good. It has a, like, blossom scent to it, but it's not super, like, it's not like a rose or a peony. It's like a soft, like, it's like a soft scent i don't know i just like it i really do like it it's not giving rose <laughs> it's like a it's like a light floral scent i'm actually gonna get it after i was just talking crazy but y'all this cherry and chia milk smells so good and there's a dupe with um native and i think native is probably a little bit more expensive than dove anyways but i guess you can call this a dupe to native but they're Vanilla and cactus flower smells just like this one. And um, Dove actually has a pomegranate. A pomegranate. And this shit smells so good. But I still got it at home, so I don't need to buy it no more. I need to leave that alone. And then, you know, I was kind of telling myself I was not going to buy a lot of stuff. And I only got five things. I think I'm doing good. But I do need to buy some more of that antibacterial wash. And at this point, I probably need to go ahead and get the big curl bottle. Because I use that as a base wash for myself. But I've just been noticing that, like, the whole family has been using it. But I ended up turning or putting the dryness relief um, body wash in the bathroom for them to use. And that one has jojoba oil in there. It has, like, a perfumey scent to it. And I really like it. But my boyfriend was like that's thing he don't really like this scent but I, I I actually like it it gives you like a fresh scent like you smell like you you clean you know what I'm saying that's what this gives but I think it was this in conjunction with like the raspberry rose deodorant that I put on I think it was just like too much at play at that time and yeah so I can't even say if it was the body wash or not but I don't know but I, I do need to get some more of this antibacterial wash so I'm gonna get this um I have this uh cherry and vanilla macaron but I swear like the vanilla and cactus flowers smell like this too that um native has I'm not gonna I really feel like native be like recycling scents at this point like they just be naming it something else because there's a few different things with native that smells the same So I already have like the pineapple 
consistent with raw sugar scrub but this is the um, coconut and mango one I actually seen this at TJ Maxx and I think this is around the same price as TJ Maxx it's 7 dollars I don't know but it smells good but for what this must have been sitting because that does not smell like that <laughs> Uh, I don't know what that is, <laughs> but that does not smell like how it normally smells. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. But look, y'all. So they have this lotion here, the SA cream that I be telling y'all about. First of all, they have this cream here, but then they also have the lotion. But they do have cream for psoriasis, and I didn't know that because it got two percent salicylic acid in there and psoriasis cream for twenty one eighty two. I didn't know that they had this here. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I'm so dang on sleepy. Oh, I seen this at um, TJ Maxx, but I think it was like four, like stacked up, and it was like for five dollars. They be having some stuff in there, okay? Wait, I'm trying to see if there's any other lotions that I want to try over here. So I'm just in this section right here. Especially if it's not a, a lotion that is hydrating. Like if it's a lotion that doesn't have shea butter in it, I'm not using it. I'm not using it because it's just it just doesn't do anything for me. Other than Jergens, like Jergens is super hydrating. I really do like that. I always get the skin firming lotion though. It doesn't really smell like anything, it's just hydrating. So like depending on what you're going for. Like, if you just, on a regular day, <laughs> let's put that on. Let me see. These are some natural deodorants over here. Citrus, Fresh, Wave. I be having to be, you know, selective of the natural deodorants that I wear because some of them be given, some of them don't. <laughs> just be careful. Be careful. That's interesting. Thigh shave can cause skin to discolor over time. Swipe on Night Rescue at bedtime whenever you want to brighten and soothe your skin, thighs, pits, knees, etc. Use nightly for six weeks to see full effects. Naturally scented with lavender. So it sounds like they have an essential oil in here. However, I'm a sensitive skin girl. And a lot of times when you use stuff like this, it's like, okay, are you going to break me out real bad though? This is what I was trying to see. Oh, that's okay. This doesn't even smell like anything. Well, I can smell the lavender a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of want to see what it's here for, but not right now. I mean, this one is $15.97. Oh, but this is the cleanser I was telling y'all about. The hydrating foam and oil cleanser because it has squalene oil and hyaluronic acid. This is so hydrating to my skin. Like, oh my god. But it's 1368 here. And I think it's like twelve dollars and some change at Target. Which is crazy. Cause it's usually the other way around. I don't know. I guess it's because of skincare. Right? But they have um theirs have a five percent aloe vera and hyaluronic acid cleanser. This seems hydrating. Oh, and it removes makeup and it's oil free and fragrance free. And it removes oil from your skin. Ooh, this one is $14.97. Let me know in the comment section down below if y'all actually use this, but this seems super hydrating. What is this? Whipped cream, sugar cane, squalene, cholesterol, and ceramides. Ceramides, dry to very dry skin. Ooh, dry skin, dry patches, uncomfortable rough skin. Baby, why are you talking about me? After cleansing, gently rub into the skin when it at night. Ooh. Test it to hydrate skin for up to 72 hours. What? Smoothing away dry patches and leave behind a soft matte finish. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Blended with sugar cane derived squalene, ceramides, and cholesterol. And dry skin 
new best friend tested by a dermatologist for safety guys i don't know how i feel about this because honestly i don't be wanting a matte finish like i be wanting my skin to give glow glowing but it does say that it helps i just don't know and it's eighteen dollars and ninety seven cents like y'all let me let me find out let me find out to do what it said to do and he he charging his he charging his work baby you ain't wrong but i just ain't going for it right now i look at this cute little area they got when did they start doing this they got a beauty finds area almost like how target has a uh, mini beauty bar that's cute <laughs> that's cute I want to buy my daughter these scrunchies, but she is, I got something to say to her today. I can't even buy her nothing because I'm supposed to be mad. What? Oh, look. They got this uh, Don't Shrink Flexi Elongating Curling Gel. This is a really good, like, no, for real. Like, this is a really good gel. I be putting, like, um, twisties in my hair after, like, I do a little wash. And then I might add the little curl custard to there. And then I, like use this to twist my hair up and like my curls be so freaking cute like amazing i got the bigger ones at home but these are three dollars a piece here and i'm so happy that they actually have this i feel like this is like travel size but then also on the affordable end because imagine imagine if you couldn't afford that big old jar they got a whole bunch of masks and stuff too and they got bursts over there i'm gonna show y'all a pearl sheet mask? That's crazy. Crazy. And it's so funny because I've been in this store probably almost an hour. Yeah, it's 13 or 317. What in the world? My daughter about to be home in like 20 minutes. I got a bone to pick with y'all. Y'all, this is probably the best freaking primer. Like... And I love it because it has hyaluronic acid in there. But I did use a niacinamide one. That one didn't give me as much as a glow as a hyaluronic acid one does. But they're both still amazing. It depends on the look that you're going for. But when I tell y'all, this is a good primer. For real. Like, this is a really good primer. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. I was telling y'all, they got burst over here. It's a face mask that has AHA and BHA complex in there with pineapple enzymes. Can you say glow? skin on glow but this is like $17.97 girl I did not know true skin had a freaking retinol facial serum I was looking for <sighs> target only got like the one well, the regular one so yeah I'm starting to see that I need to expand expand Cause I haven't been at Walmart looking for skincare stuff in a grip. Like it's been a great while. It's just because the other place is closer.